don't if I don't bring money, she will deal with me. She will bring court boys to to rape me and beat me, and she will stab me like that. She started threatening me. I have some of the threatening messages and some of the voice notes she do send to me. You don't eat good food. They will bring men to sleep with you and they will take the money from you. Hi guys, guess who we have here? Joy from Dubai. She's back to Nigeria, Lagos State. So most people might know her, some might not know her. So her story is not really a good one. So, in fact, when we, myself, when she joined my live video once on Facebook, I was touched by her story where she was sold to different people in Dubai. So right now she's back to Nigeria. So I had to tell some of my fans to contribute money. So we're able to contribute some money to help her come back and she landed in Nigeria. She, she, I think she went to prison or prison yes, again yes. before I coming to Nigeria in prison. Yeah. Yeah in jail and now she's here she landed yesterday so i want you guys to hear a story hi joy hi your name and where you're from my name is anibi joy i'm from benue state okay yes so sometime april this year my friend contacted me she was my friend we used to work together here in Lagos states and she called me that um she wants me to come over to dubai since things are not moving well in in this place that i should come over mm. and um i should start something for myself that i'll be earning good and at least i'll be sending money to my family every two two weeks that was what she told me i said okay she she was the one that did my passport and every other document for me so i traveled i traveled 11th of may this year so when I landed Dubai, I was expecting like before before I went, I asked her some questions like, where where will I be staying, uh, bees? How will I be paying bees? She said I shouldn't worry about that. That uh, she, everything is is provided. Everything will be provided for me. So when I got to Dubai, I discovered that she she doesn't have where she stays. Like she doesn't have a house. She stays in in the spa where she do massage. So she took me to the spa and I was like, is this where you stay? She said, yes. She started explaining to me that uh, this is what she do, that she do streets there. And I shouldn't, uh, I, sh I shouldn't think about it or think about going back. That if I stay, I will get money. And she started calming me when I got angry. And, like, like, why did you get angry? What was the job? That she, you'll be sleeping with men and be taking money. Prostitution? Yes. So... She took me to a spa, one shop. She took me there and she initially she told me that if I get to that place, if I do massage for one customer, the shop will pay me. She didn't even tell me straight up that you have to still sleep with people there in the spa. Mm. So when I went there, I I wasn't getting customers. People were not coming for Africans, especially Nigerians. So I I stayed in a particular shop for a month and she came and took me there to another shop she changed about five shops for me because i wasn't bringing out money before i left nigeria she told me i was going to pay her four million four million that the money it won't take much time i'll pay the money and then i'll start saving for how much shop. did she spend what she spent was like 700k okay yes to bring me to dubai okay so she started getting angry that i'm lazy i don't want to work that i'm doing like i'm i don't know what's up that if i don't if i don't bring money she will deal with me she will bring court boys to to rape me and beat me and she will stab me like that she started threatening me i have some of the threatening messages and some of the voice notes she do send to me so um still nothing was coming out then one day she now took me she, she called me that she wants to take me to another location that i should get my things ready so when she came i thought she was actually taking me to another shop i didn't know she had sold me to another different person so when we got to want somewhere she dropped and handed my document to this guy so the guy i started crying that why would she sell me and the guy said i shouldn't worry that if i do where nobody will sell me that um they are taking me to a nice place it was then they took me to a villa. The place is, is a villa, like one village outside Dubai. And they will lock you up there. They locked me in, in the compound. You don't go out. 
you don't eat good food they will bring men to sleep with you and they'll take the money from you you pay for your bed space they call it bed space you pay for wi-fi you pay for water everything so money was not coming out so after a month again this person sold me again to another different person that was how they were selling me up and down and i started asking for help because they collected my phone so later when they sold me they gave my phone to my new boss and he gave me the phone that was how i started chatting people asking for help and um I, I contacted one of my friends, he's my male friend, he used to come and visit me. I mm. told him that I don't have money to pay for my best space for that week, that he should mm. please come. So when he came, he took me to his house and uh, in the morning he gave me money that he's going to work. Normally, if you take girls from any place, you are the one that is supposed to return the girl. Mm. So he didn't return me and he said I should wait for him till he comes back. So when he left for work, I had to to run away from that place i took a taxi to the nearest police station so when i went there i narrated my story this is what is happening and that place they don't tolerate prostitution so um they called my boss to bring my passport he said okay that if he closed from work he's going to bring my passport i stayed there till in the evening he now sent my passport to me and the police people asked me to go and uh, look for money and book a flight and go back to my country since i don't want to stay again so that was how um i contacted one woman i have worked in her spa before as a receptionist i contacted her and she said okay i should come she came and picked me up to her to her shop where she has the shop and um she wanted to do a visa for me but they already placed ban on Nigerian visa. You cannot do visa. And she said there's nothing she can do and I cannot stay in her shop. So I contacted Miriam, sister Miriam, one of our live. I joined one of our live and um, I explained things to her and she begged her fans to, to help me and raise money. So people sent money to my account. Mr. Williams sent $200 to me. And um, Utokpa, one of my Benue brother, he, he, he took me to his place, his um, friend's place. There's this girl that he's dating there. He took me to his house, to the girl's house, and I was staying with the girl. Mm. So for when I got the money, I went to the deportation camp. Even I was at that deportation camp, they still locked us up. They took us to, to go and serve jail because if they want to deport you, you must serve jail. So I served jail for two two months before the... They asked us to book our tickets, our flight tickets. That was how I, I gave them the money I have and they, they booked my flight tickets and I came back yesterday night. Oh. Anyways, I'm glad you are back. It's not too late to start all over again. Is your mother aware that you are back? Yes, I called her this morning that I'm back. Oh, was she happy? Is she okay? She was crying like she didn't know what i went there to do and i didn't want to tell her because she might feel heartbroken and uh, starts crying so she asked why i came back i said that place is not good for me she now said okay that hope i'm okay and she was crying on the phone when i called her i just she just said okay no problem if i'm okay no problem but she said if i can come back this december to the house i should come that i'm always welcome Okay, I want to ask you, like, you're an adult and you didn't know that a person that would spend, um, a girl that spent up to 700000 on you, you, you didn't know that she was going to take you to do prostitution? No, I don't know because I have not done prostitution before. Even, um, I was in my place before she called me, in my village. I, I traveled to my village, so I was there, things were bad, so I traveled home. So when I returned to Lagos was when she called me that if I'm not doing anything, I can come. But she didn't tell me. I didn't have any idea. I've not, I've not heard. And I, I, my mistake was I didn't make inquiries. Mm. I didn't get enough information before leaving. No, All I wanted go. was go and uh, get a good, a good life, Green up save pasture. money, and uh, okay. take care of my family. Okay, it is well with you, Joy. Okay. I'm glad you're back. I hope nothing. They didn't take you to any spiritual place, cut your hair or... No, no, no. She didn't do that to me. Okay. So, 
now that you're back now what would you like to be doing um now that i'm back because I, i've lost everything even my phone my luggages i didn't bring anything home. how you came like this yes this is what i wore and this slippers it was my girlfriend that gave me this shirt when i returned hi you're emotional it's okay <laughs> At least you have learnt from it. So next time somebody comes and say, let's go. You say, no, no. And you even tell people your story. A lot yes. of people are going to watch it. They're, I'm very even, sure. Even where, while I was there, my friends reached out me. I want to come over. I would tell them, don't come. They would tell me, eh, because you are there, you don't want us to come. I know what I saw there. I know what girls are going through in that place. Even underage girls, 15 years. They're yeah, there? Yes, 15 years, 16. We all saw them. We saw. Them. I saw them there. And like why would someone leave nigeria to go to dubai and do such thing if you're not going to work so and that's the most common thing in that place it's okay yeah. mission there near megan it is very so guys at least she has admitted that she's she was wrong she didn't make a lot of inquiries and she wants to turn a new leaf she wants to do better for herself so I don't know how we can help her in any way. Should we help her start up a small business? Can we contribute at least even if it is 300 or what? I don't know how much you guys want to help support her with. So she can start up. She has lost everything. She came like everything, this. Even my documents, my certificates, everything. My, all my, everything. Even my phone. It was only my SIM card that I, I was able to take from that phone when they wanted to collect it. So it's my SIM card, I'm using my Nigerian SIM card. I don't have any clothes, I don't have any bag, I came empty handed. Okay, for clothes, I'm going to help you get you some clothes today. So you can just wear at least for now. So you were able to decide on what to do for you. Don't cry, you. I you know it's stronger. You that went through all those things there. That time, black and thin, eh? tears not going to come up from your eyes, you know, right? And now, when you can't talk the story later, you can't cry. Then later, after some years pass, you can't cry. You can just smile, say you don't experience these things. Okay, let's see whatever anybody that wants to support you. Do you have an account? Yes, I have an account. Okay, we'll just help you raise money for you. So you can start even if it's a small, a petty business. At least just start again. You know, say when picking off, when picking do bad they know the true way picking. You go use another and drag and come back. So Joy has heard and she has, she, she, she has learned from her mistakes. Please, let's support her in any way we can. I'm going to post the account number here. So if you want to support her with anything, 500, 1,000, 2,000. Imagine someone that is empty. This is the only clothes she has right now. So I'm going to help her for that one. I'm going to help her get some clothes today. So at least she, now again, she's not supposed to wear one clothes for so long. She came in last night. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're crying. Ah, don't cry, don't cry. At least I'm here. My friend Kizzy. Kizzy! Kizzy! Please come. He's coming. So I'm going to talk to him so he can support. So let's buy you. Even if we can. At least let's give you money for feeding and clothes for now. Your, what are you saying? It's Jack Conte. With who? It's my girlfriend. But you, like, the traffic came together? No, 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 no. It was this morning that I even came to her house. She has left for work. She has not seen you? She has seen me. You told her your story? Yes, she knows. Please, Kizzy, I know you love me so much as your friend. Please, she's right now. She just came. This is how she came from Dubai. No clothes, no food, no nothing. So you're my friend. We're going to support her. She's no. stranded. Okay. So come. She has been crying. So um, what do you want to do now? So let's support her to buy outfit and feed for now. Okay. Anything you can support her with. Okay. I won't say what I'll support her with, but I'll do something. Thank you. Thank you. It will do something. Who else is there? Okay, hey, I'll Gima. take you to go and meet my manager. Siva, Siva stands. No, leave them, leave them. <laughs> leave those ones are young. So I will take you to go and meet my manager too. So all of us will do Sorry, something, yeah? yeah? Don't cry, yeah? You've not lost everything. Your life just started. It is well. I believe that from this video you'll get help. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.